Right, in this video, I'm going to be looking at how to detect a parasitic draw. Uh, the kind of cheapest way possible by using a multimeter. Okay, uh, so if you have a parasitic draw, what happens is you'll find that your battery is charged uh, from a run and then it will just drain slowly away. Uh, so the next morning you go to start it, it doesn't start. I'm having the same issue with my car at the moment. In the morning it doesn't start. Uh, I've noticed though that there's one thing that the battery, when I test the voltage of it in the morning, is always 12.33. So after a full charge or a run, after I've boosted it in the morning, I've run it for an hour or so, whatever, it'll be, the battery will be sitting at 12.8. So... Uh, that's quite normal then it'll start dropping slowly and by the time I next run it it could be sometimes even an hour later it'll be 12.33 so I suspect it's not a parasitic draw because if it was a parasitic draw it would drop lower than 12.33 it would just keep dropping and dropping right right okay a few days have passed I have got to do this um, parasitic draw properly so I've charged up the car fully today, I took it for about a 20, 30 mile uh, run, probably 30 miles today. And uh, so I've really disconnected it. If I touch there and touch there, what have I got? 12 point, it steadies up, 12.68 volts. So I don't know if you can see that, let's try it again. So it should be, batteries are fully charged now. 12.7 volts, so that's a, a good battery, right? All right. Okay, so next sign, I've got some some of my equipment that I've arrived to do this test, crocodile t clips, and I've really had the, uh, the high ampage cables, so I'll bring them. Right, I'm going to make a, uh, it should be a black cable, because we're only going to work off the negative, right? Parasitic draw, we're not going to work off the positive as well, so I'm actually going to remind myself of that by putting the lid back. I've got these uh, 50 amp clip, uh, crocodile clips. I'm just going to leave a space, make sure I leave a space back here. I've already got that wrapped around, so that's handy. I'm just going to make sure this stays away from there. And uh, the other end, of course, same same deal. Uh, so I can just come around over the top. And it should spark, of course, yeah. So I'm running off that. So I'm allowing the car now, time is 20 past 10. So when it's 11 o'clock, that's when the car should be fully asleep. So 11 o'clock should be fully asleep. I'm also going to be attaching, just to save myself the hassle, a couple of uh, crocodile clips. One here, make sure it doesn't touch anything else. And one here for my ammeter. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, attach them to the ammeter soon. I could, in theory, I could just put these together like that, no problem. That's okay as well. Alright, but I'll be working off these thin ones in a minute and I'll be disconnecting the big ones. So, this should be allowing the, the car to sleep properly. And uh, once it's asleep, 40 minutes later, it should be 20 milliamps or, of draw tops. Alright, that's what the handbook says. Um, I will connect these two to the ammeter, see what it is. So 11 o'clock I'll find out. I'm just gonna go away and do something. I was gonna do all sorts of things, like jack up cars, swap the wheels around, but I'm not gonna do that, because I've also got, unfortunately, a TPMS sensor. Check for that in another, uh, another video. TPMS sensor error. I've taken the, the car to the, to the uh, garage, but they can't figure out uh, if it is a sensor or not. This is showing a good voltage on all of them now. So I've got options. I'm going to do some tire swapping. But I was going to do all that, but I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is just... Because I thought if I start moving the car around, I might start just kicking off some sensors while it's trying to sleep. Well, I'm just going to allow it to sleep properly. I forgot, I'm going to double lock the car as well. So, locked and double locked, hopefully. Right, okay, so everything's connected. I've got the ammeter in line. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the main cable. 
So that is the, the car's asleep. I can say, I can comfortably say there is no, there is no parasitic draw. There's no current flowing. No point. So if it was if it was 10 milliamps, it was showing there. 10, 1, 2, 3. So this goes down. That's 1 amp, 0.1 amp, 0.01 amp. No. If it was, I've already got my relay puller, fuse puller. So there's no, so it was actually a battery fault. It wasn't a, uh, a, a parasitic draw because there's no, there's no, there's no current flowing that this can detect. Right, I've got my new uh, 20 pound Draper multimeter. It does milliamps. I've set it not on this one now. The the um, positive thermo, but on this one that does uh, its fuse, it's milliamps, uh, it goes down to two milliamps. So we're going to go for 200 milliamps, start with the highest, and uh, see, see, what, see what sort of results we get. Yeah, a minute. Put it there. So it's been sitting for 40 odd minutes, and um. So it should be kind of fully, yeah, I know it's just shining, shining up and you can't see it from the reflection. So I'm going to move one terminal, just as before. The second terminal on here, this will find out the true parasitic draw. So it's on milliamps. Uh, it's on zero at the moment because any is probably going through the thicker cable. I disconnect it and um, so everything's going to run through the ammeter. What is the true? Now they say, they say at rest after 40 minutes of complete shutdown, it should be at 20 milliamps or less. I read 10.8 milliamps. So if I was to disconnect that, uh, the alarms would go off, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, doors locked, everything. Uh, so the alarms go off. So it's, it's drawing 10.8 milliamps. Let's go for a more sensitive 20 milliamps. It's still showing. It'll go over on the two now. It's just saying it's over. Uh, I, I dare not connect it and swap it away. It's negative, but it doesn't matter. It just means the terminal's wrong. Now. 10 milliamps is absolutely fine. 20 is the maximum for this car. Right, thanks for watching. So I am satisfied that my car is not, uh, well, not, but not basically, uh, has not got a parasitic draw. I'm gonna attack, I better not, nearly, nearly press the key to unlock, so I need to put this back on here. Now it's not running through there, now it's running through the big cable. Good, let's unlock. No problem now. All right.